Manifesting isn't about just sitting around and waiting for something to happen to us. Manifesting is about taking an action, but taking an action that is aligned with a spiritual connection. Gabrielle Bernstein, a role model for spiritual seekers. For today's show, I want to talk about something really, really core to my spiritual practice, something that has been a method that I applied in my practice years ago. And it's such a huge method. I even wrote about it in my book, Super Attractor. And it's something that I really don't do any big action without. This is a method I call the spiritually aligned action method. And it's this practice that requires inspiration, faith, and some kind of spiritual connection, a spiritual connection of your own understanding. When we merge our desire with our faith, we can start to take action from a place of peace and calm and centeredness rather than that controlling place that we often take an action from. And it's that presence of peace that allows the universe to really support us when we take action. But the other thing that I really think is so valuable here is that many of us out there want to be manifestors. You want to manifest a life beyond your wildest dreams. And a lot of times that's why we come to this show. We come to learn these techniques and tools for manifesting. And manifesting isn't about just sitting around and waiting for something to happen to us. Manifesting is about taking an action, but taking an action that is aligned with a spiritual connection, taking an action that's aligned with faith and courage. And when you follow my steps in this episode, the spiritually aligned action method, you can really trust that an energy beyond your own is working on your behalf and that everything can just really work out for you, even if you don't know exactly how or when, because you can trust that your action was taken from a place of spiritual alignment. Big, big message for you today. And when you apply this method to anything in your, li in your life, anything that you desire, you can really just trust that you're co-creating with the universe rather than forcing a vision to become your reality. Take a moment to look at all the ways in which your actions are backed with control and fear and lacking faith. And I want you to start paying regular attention in your life to how you're controlling these requests to the universe and how that controlling energy might be blocking you from receiving what's of the highest good. And once you're much more clear about the ways that you're trying to control situations, it becomes time now then for you to redirect your energy and apply that energy to a spiritually aligned action method. So that's what we want to do to begin. Really get that honest inventory going. And here's the method, everybody. Drum roll, please, everyone. <laughs> Here we go. The first step in the spiritually aligned action method is to tap into the inspiration behind your desire and to see how that inspiration serves you and the world. So I want you to take out your journal and I want you to make a list of all the ways that this desire that you have, this action that you want to take, how it lights you up and how it also brings a service to others. Because remember, there is service in your joy. And as long as it doesn't come at somebody else's expense, you taking action on this dream is of service when it brings you joy. But I also want you to tap into all the ways that it inspires you and that it makes you feel good. And when you think about taking this action, what does that bring forth within you? And how is it joyful? And how is it bringing more joy and inspiration to the world? The second step is to believe that the universe will deliver. And I want you to write clearly what you desire and then surrender it by adding, it's this or something better. And then I want you to spend some time every day in meditation and align your energy back in with that service and that love that we talked about in the first step. Feel into it. Feel yourself connected to the vision of what you desire. I want you to feel into the feelings of inspiration, the service behind the desire. And just hold that vision of yourself fulfilling your desire and all that positive energy that it brings you and brings the world. Meditating on the joy and the service and the inspiration behind your desire starts to help you release the blocks that hold you back from really owning it and accepting it. And then the third step is to take action from a place of spiritual alignment. And so as soon as you feel those, those first two steps in action, the belief and the inspiration and the faith, then you know you're ready to take that spiritually aligned action and <clears throat> you're going to feel relaxed and you'll feel faithful 
and confident. And then there's also a sure sign that, that it's time to take the action. And that's when you no longer feel attached to the outcome. Boom, take that one in. <laughs>